Hello and welcome to a new video. This video was kind of inspired by Chris Geordie's latest video about him talking about like mental health and his physical health and all of that. I won't get too much into it because that's his video. If you haven't watched it, go watch it because it was a very good video, in my opinion. Anyway, some of you will know I struggle with mental health issues and it's been going on for years. Six, seven, eight years now. difficult to pinpoint when when it started because I only found out yesterday that the reason that I kind of forget things and the only reason that I know I've done them is because there's photos of midnight there and I'm like you what it was never there so I've gone to hospital more times than I care to count due to my mental health and kind of not wanting to be here anymore. And the amount of times that I've just woken up and gone, you know what? What is the point? And then I'll stay in bed all day or I'll do something stupid or. Don't get me wrong, it's not all been bad. There have been. But some days I will wake up and I'll go, you know what, today I'm going to do something. I'm going to go out, I'm going to go for a run, I'm going to tidy my room, I'm going to do all sorts of stuff. And, yeah, go and go for a run has helped me a lot, like, recently. Whenever I, I feel like, you know what, I can't, I don't really feel like getting out of bed, I've got to force myself out, and even if it's just literally up to the road to the shop, and my shop's 20 foot from here, that might be a bit of an understatement, but it's close, it's close. So then I'll go and, I'll go run to the shop, or I'll go run around my local field, But in the last kind of year, I've struggled with two kind of big addictions that have been difficult. I, a lot of people know I gamble. And when you say, oh yeah, I gamble, people think, okay, you're gambling. Maybe like 10 or a day. Over the last year I've lost more than someone's monthly wage. That's one month's wage. On one site. That's not on... That's not counting going into a shop and doing it. That's not counting about 365 or any other sites. And the other kind of addiction is for about the last three years I've been going into the pub I'd say six days a week at bare minimum some days I'll go in there at open at 11 and I'll leave to clients so I do find the local one until about a year ago and don't get me wrong I'm not saying that I can out drink anyone because I probably can't but weighing in at six seven stone at twenty two and then going into a pub and not 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 even I can't be good for your health. I already have like liver liver problems and all that. 
but like if I don't bother to get out of bed I'm not gonna cook am I like so where some people find that they eat more I've kind of gone in the opposite direction and when in a, a like, I'm not about to do it then like, I joke about how how I weigh like seven stone sometimes six sometimes seven depends on that I am going to get some scales and try and eat healthy but maybe on the days that I I feel like doing stuff, I'll cook like two kilos worth of pasta and then just have it in my fridge because my my um, microwave literally the end of my bed so it's not very difficult and also there's times and I've, people have noticed in these videos if I'm not getting out of bed like I'm not I'm not showering not charging my room and like, yes, it's grim, but like I don't care when I'm in that mindset. Like, I just don't give a crap. And like, who knows how or when it'll get better? But it just seems no matter what I do, something always. Like I'll be going through a good stretch and I'll be like, okay, got through it good, good and then something will happen but and then yeah, then we're back to square one but the one thing I do like doing is just not posting videos I actually waffle most of the time usually a lot kind of less serious than this but it does give me a sense of oh, I've actually done something Instead of staying on bed and watching YouTube, watching Netflix, even if it is like a five minute video about something no one really cares about, so let's be honest, here, no one actually cares about what I waffle on about. But I went on a lot longer than I thought, but hopefully it'll go better. But I didn't really waffle on for long enough. No one really cares, but you know, it's all there to do. But it is a topic people need to talk about more. I have started noticing people are talking about it a lot more. But there is still a whole stigma around it. But you know, one step at a time, one step at a time. Anyway, until my next video, cheers.